Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our lesson today is in primary phase first term unit 2 lesson 2 solution. We have mentioned in the previous lesson that the solution is a special type of mixture. There are two of mixture which are homogeneous mixture, heterogeneous mixture. Let's begin. Watch these videos and answer the following question. Video number one. Hello everyone, we will do activity to prove that the solubility process formation of a solution needs a solvent and a solute. Steps. Add a spoon of salt into an amount of water here. Stir the mixture using a glass root. I didn't have a glass root, but I will mix it with a spoon. Observation. Salt breaks down into small particles that disappear in water, forming a salty solution. Forming a salty solution. Inference: The formed solution, the formed salty solution, consists of a solute which is salt, b solvent which is water. Steering processes is necessary to dissolve the solute in the solvent. Solubility processes can be expressed as follows. Solute plus solvent solubility over processes solution equals solution. Then we notice here uh, we will wait to show what's happening to the sugar and the water. We notice here that the sugar, the salt, uh, is in the end of the water and the water is in the up. The sugar is, is consists in the end of the water. The water in the up of the cup, but the, the salt is in the end of the cup of water. Again, the salt is in the end of the water, not the end up. In the end of the water, in the end of the water, not in the up. In the end, not in the up. Video number two. Hello again, we will do activity to prove that the quantity of solvent and solute affected the solubility processes. Tips. Get two well quantities of sugar solute and put the first in 300 ml of water solvent and the other in 50 ml of water solvent. Tear each breaker a vicar spreadie with a glass root with a glass root and record the time needed for sugar to dissolve completely in the water. Observation. Dissolving sugar in 300 ml water takes a shorter time than that is needed to dissolve the same quantity in 50 ml water. Try to dissolve 20 grams sugar in 100 ml uh, water, 100 ml of water and 5 grams of sugar in the same quantity of water. Record the time needed for sugar to dissolve by using a stopwatch. Observation. The dissolving solubility time increase, increase when the quantity of the sugar solute increase. Inference. Solubility depends on the amount of solvent and solute, whereby increasing the quantity of solvent, the solubility increase and vice versa too. By, by decreasing the quantity of solute, the solubility increase and vice versa too. We notice here this take a longer time. This take a longer time, but this take a shorter time. This take a longer time. Uh, this, this take a shorter time. This take a longer time. This take a shorter time, and this a shorter time of the cup.
give reason. In sugary solution, sugar is considered resolute because it is always in the solvent water to form the solution. The mean of solute it is the substance which dissolves in a solvent. Solution it's a homogeneous mixture in which the solute breaks down into the most particles, passive particles that spread throughout the solvent. Solubility processes. It is the processes by which the solute dissolves in the solvent, leading to the disappearance of the solute. Question. There are two types of mixture, which are and give reason. Solubility depends on the amount of solvent and solute because the solubility process is affected by four factors. One, quantity of solvent and solute. Two, temperature. Three, steering. Four, kind of the solute. We note that the dissolved in liquids are homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous liquid mixture. The most mixtures that are formed by apple juice sugary solution or salty solution solution or homogeneous liquid mixture homogeneous liquid mixture some give reason salty solution is a homogeneous mixture because a component cannot be distinguished from each other apple juice is a solution because it is a homogeneous liquid mixture. Apple juice, natural orange juice, apple juice, natural orange juice, tea, sugar or salty solution, mud in water. Mud in water. Now we can sell this photo, then we will answer one question. Choose from the previous lesson, uh, lesson uh, photos the heterogeneous mixture and the homogeneous mixture and answer it under this video. I hope the video you like it and study from it and goodbye.